Sri Lanka's flag officially rises on Ethiopian soil for the first time. It is a sign of strengthening bilateral relations that date back to 1972. A community of about 200 Sri Lankans live in Ethiopia, most of them investors. The Asian nation is hoping an embassy in Addis Ababa will help to grow this number. We decided to do so because we feel uh, that Addis Ababa is fast emerging, Ethiopia and Addis Ababa is fast emerging as the diplomatic and political capital of the great continent of Africa. The two countries have signed agreements on political consultation and the establishment of a joint commission for cooperation. Sri Lankan garment industries are known worldwide for producing top quality textile. We also know that you are one of the leading global tea exporters. I hope the joint commission agreement that we signed with Your Excellency yesterday would boost exchange of ex expertise and best practices in agribusiness, manufacturing and other sectors. Apart from Ethiopia, Sri Lanka has only six other missions on the continent. It wants to use Addis Ababa as a platform to reach out to other African states whose diplomatic missions are based here in the capital. The African investor must also start looking at Sri Lanka as one of the best possible destinations for investors in the whole of Asia. In fact, uh, we have uh, a free trade agreement with both India and Pakistan, uh, which makes Sri Lanka the ideal gateway to the huge markets of the Indian subcontinent. And we are also in the process of uh, uh, finalizing free trade agreements with China and uh, Singapore. In 2014, Sri Lanka was accredited by the African Union as a non-African state partner. The Foreign Affairs Minister of Sri Lanka has now requested for consideration to get observer status in the continental body. Koleto Anjoy for CGTN in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.